Hi everyone, this is Carson and Peter McPhail here with Lifestyle Properties of Maine, bringing you another great deal here today. Today we're in the Washington County. We're in the town of Northfield looking at a 6.5 acre lot. Yeah, Northfield, um, if you don't want to see a lot of people, this is a great place to be. How, what's the population here? Just under 200. So, under 200 people. Yeah. So um, <clears throat> this lot, what is extremely unique about this lot, there's uh, several things. And the first of it would be, even though it's 6.55 acres, on the back of this, there's a attaches right to it is a 53 acre, uh, what is it, a reserve land? Preserve. Preserve. 53 acres, so you can go out there and do some uh, hiking and enjoy that. So even though uh, 6.5 acres, you still have 53 acres to recreate on that, that abuts it. So the second really neat feature here is, is the lake access. Yes, yeah, so this property has deeded access to two different lakes, Bog and Fulton Lake, and we'll show you that to you guys real soon. But for now, let's go take a look at the property. All right, guys, before we get too far into the lot, I just wanted to point out, here's the survey pin here and there is electricity at the road. So the infrastructure is here, great spot to build yourself, uh, your summer cabin, vacation cabin, or even your year round home. Let's head into the lot and take a look. So as we're walking through the lot here, you could see that there's a lot of healthy growth in here. You got a nice mix of trees of both some older pine, some spruce, and some beech throughout the lot. So all right, we're on our way now to find the Northeast corner pin. Um, and as we're walking through this, the topography of this lot, it only ranges from about 200 to 240. So it's a really relatively flat lot that's gonna be easy for someone to build on. So we're about halfway back through the lot now. And as we're walking through here, we're kind of been following a deer path and some huge deer trails right through here. So if you're someone who likes to observe nature, this is gonna be a good spot for you. So as you can see behind me, we've got a tree that big old spruce tree that's come down. We had a major windstorm a few weeks ago and you know there's been a few trees knocked down here but it's not bad because there's still a lot of protection. There's still a lot of big spruce in here and pine. Beautifully wooded lot. Let's continue to get to the back of the land. So we are about three quarters of the way to the back of the lot and I have seen plenty of timber between the spruce and the pine. If you've got a portable sawmill and you want to mill your own lumber to build a cabin, I think that's easily doable here. But let's get to the, see if we can find the back corner. So we found the northeast corner pin and now we're going to follow the line back to the other corner pin and maybe jump over to that 53 acre uh, preserve and maybe show you what that looks like as well. So right here, we're following the line back. We're about halfway across the property. And this back line has been well marked. We're finding some flagging and some old, old blazes like you see right in here. All right, so we made it here to the northwest corner, what we believe to be the northwest corner anyways. Um, we've looked around. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of snow here. So we believe the pen is probably buried just right around this general area. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the common lot, and show you some of that. All right, so we've gone off the property. Um, the beginning part of the preserve was a little wet, but once you got through that, you know, there's this nice mossy knoll right here, and it's a very nice lot. The knoll actually looks like it continues all the way out there, so we'll go check that out. So like I said, we made it here. We made it a little bit further in, and the moss, as far as we could see from right here, continues. So this definitely is a nice preserve, something I'd... I would definitely enjoy walking. All right, so we're off the preserve now and we're back on the property. And as you can see, the topography has changed quite a bit at a bit of an incline here, but it certainly makes for a much interesting property layout. We just walked up about 15 feet of topography change. I'm trying to catch my breath, but what a beautiful spruce forest we're walking through. We're working our way towards the center of the lot and just a beautiful piece of ground great property to build on extremely well wooded as we've been talking about the whole video but let's work our way to the center of the lot give you an idea there we're in the center of the lot now guys and the soil type here is colton adams three to about well five to fifteen percent slopes uh, very well drained soil and that's why we're seeing these beautiful big pine trees growing uh, white pine, they like good drained soil. So building here, you'd have no problem building, getting a soil test to pass, and then 
I could see you putting in some garden spots here too, would be nice, but we're gonna work our way back out to the road. All right, so we made it here back to the road and this is where our Southwest corner pin is. So we were able to walk to this pin. All right, so we made it off the property. We're over here at the Fulton Lake Landing, one of the deeded lake access that comes with the property. Let's go in and take a look. So we're walking down to the lake, almost there, and I'm hoping we see a little bit of open water. We're gonna do a polar plunge today. Matter of fact, I did a polar plunge for a fundraiser the other day, and we'll put that video link in the description below. So we're here now at the Fulton Lake Landing, and as you can see, we have a nice concrete landing here. Um, so definitely easy for you to get a boat in and out here. Great lake for you to canoe, kayak, fish, swim. Um, so some facts about this lake, it's a 96 acre lake. So it's a modest lake with a max depth of about 16 feet. Some of the fish species here, you're looking at your white and yellow perch, uh, some pickerel among some of the species here. Yeah, fun place to hang out. You just paddle, do a paddle and enjoy the water. And we're only a few minutes from the lot. You know, we drove yeah. down here in just a few minutes, so it was easy to get to. You probably can ride your bike down here if you wanted to. So Carson, let's talk a little bit about um, Northfield location-wise. What's the closest service town? So your closest service town, it seems like we've been talking about Machias a lot this year yep. already, but it is going to be Machias. You're about 20 minutes away from Machias. Distance-wise to Bangor, we're an hour and a half from Bangor, five hours to Boston. Canadian border in Calais is probably about 50 minutes away. So let's just uh, recap now the property. We've got 6.55 acres, almost 400 feet of road frontage. So you got tons of privacy, electricity to the lot, very well wooded, nice lot. It is. And like, like we said, you have this deeded access here to Fulton Lake. You have the deeded access to Bog Lake as well, which is a bit bigger lake than this. It's about mm. a 900 acre lake. And that has more of a max of about 46 feet. Um, in addition to this, you also have that deeded preserve that- <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. That abuts, it's cold out today. My it's knuckles cold. are cracking. So that you also have that deeded access to the preserve that abuts the back of the property as well. So- Yeah, in, in Bog Lake, you're kind of getting two different, certainly two different bodies of water, but you got the warm water species on mm -hmm. Fulton Lake, and then you got your cold water on Bog Lake. And, you know, I don't know why they call it Bog Lake because it's crystal clear, beautiful water. It is, yeah. So very interesting property, folks. This one's a, a this one's perfect for you to want to build on. Um, what's the price here, bud? Thirty thousand. Thirty. It 000. is a deal. It's a good deal. It's a good deal. Give us a call today. The taxes here, the uh, HOA. There is a lot owners association. That's one hundred and fifty dollars a year. Taxes are what less than three hundred. Less than 300, I believe like 257. Yeah, less than $300 here, guys. You, you can't beat it with a stick. So, hey, thanks for joining us. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you guys again real soon.